would like to start my uh, presentation with a simple question. Imagine that you've got a severe headache. Which one of these choices do you like to get rid of that headache as soon as possible? Who goes for uh, acupuncture? Can you raise your hand if you use acupuncture? What about the faster way? Yoga, like my doggy there, yoga exercises. Who goes for yoga exercises? Yeah, good, sporty choice. What about Nurofen tablets? Who goes for Nurofen tablets? Yeah. Do you know that it, there is a faster way uh, than Nurofen tablets? Nurofen Express tablets. Who goes for Nurofen Express tablets? I'm there. Who is with me? Okay. But do you know why Nurofen Express tablets is the fastest way to get rid of a headache? That's because the ibuprofen in Nurofen Express tablets is highly disordered in the structure. It's like a stacking, a stacking blocks that are that is disordered, so you can easily fold them apart by just a soft and gentle touch. So in order to have that uh, disordered structure, I use uh, an instrument called a spray dryer. For that, I prepare a mixture of the drug, let's say ibuprofen, and a, and a polymer in an aqueous solution. Then I spray it to thousands of small droplets. If you look closer to one of these small droplets, you see a mixture of crystals of ibuprofen beside uh, polymers that are shown here in red in a bed of, of liquid, let's say water. But this is a liquid. I want something solid so I can press it into tablets that's easier to use. But, so I need to dry out this uh, liquid droplet. So if I have a bad drying process, I have phase segregation between polymers and crystals in one particle. But I don't want that. I need to provide an ideal drawing process so I have a homogeneous mixture between crystals and polymers beside each other and enhance the solubility of the drug in the body so it, it can cure the diseases faster, as fast as possible. So for that purpose, I need to control the drying process of each one of these tiny droplets. For that, I put the spray, really simple, I put it into a container, let's say a cylinder container, container. then in, ta in, in that container, I can control temperature, I can control the humidity of the air that comes in as drying air, and also the flow pattern, the flow speed of, of, the, of the air that comes into the, uh, the, the environmental chamber. So by finding the interrelation between these three factors, I can provide an ideal uh, environment for these tiny particles to dry out and give us fast but not furious drugs. So uh, we can have more efficient and effective uh, uh, painkillers at the end. Thanks very much for your attention.